Hi lovers, good morning. Uh, guess who's under the weather now? Because her son's been under the weather um, for the past week. And now she caught the under the weather. And also who's sleeping on this heating pad because she's of a certain age. It's not me, I'm asking you to guess who it is. <laughs> but um, this episode of uh, the, the Lynn Torres podcast is a special treat for you because I have my good friend of 20 plus years, uh, Cynthia Wan, on the podcast talking about her new um, business. Um, she is the creator and owner of Beauty by Bon Bon, um, makeup and hair artist. Um, she went from having zero money in her bank account to having her own business. So she shares with us how she did that and how she was able to quit her job and just do her business full time. Um, we talk about marriage, dating, men you know all of all the women talk so thank you for tuning in thank you for hanging out with us as usual um i wish i was right there i wish you i wish you were right here in front of me bringing me soup <laughs> but you're not and it's okay because we can connect through this podcast and i hope that um you are all connecting with us in some way shape or form and i keep talking like this because i'm showing off my nails all right, thank you again to Joe, um, who I could not have do this without, and to Jalen and everybody involved. Thank you. Enjoy the episode. Bye. podcast episode 16 16 hey. 16 i'm back with my good friend cynthia bond cynthia Hi, everyone. cynthia was my the first guest i ever interviewed on the lynn sun show back in 2019 can you believe that oh can you believe that 2019 how how many years has it been now five mm. Good. Five years. Yeah. Five years. Look at how beautiful. Am I dressed okay? Yeah, you look <laughs> amazing. <laughs> look at what she's, look at it. Look at how beautiful she is. I had to dress up a little bit because Lynn, when Lynn invites you something, it's something special. It, so. I mean, I didn't tell her that I was going to look like this. But look at you. And I'm wearing a veil. Why? Because I'm manifesting my marriage to Eminem. Yes. And this, this is will what happen one day. This will, <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> and Cynthia's going to be there. When you wear him down enough. I will. He will be yours. I'm going to talk about it enough until he shows up. That's right. You talk about it enough, it happens. Exactly. I bet you he's going to see one of your foot. I like hope her. so. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then he's going to go back and every single one, because that's what you do when you get obsessed with somebody. You see one thing and then you just keep going you just and going, keep going. going. And you deep dive. And then he's going to see that you talk about him a lot. No, and then he's going to see, he's going to show up to a show and surprise me. Mm -hmm. He's going <sighs> to surprise me. I'm going to be doing the Eminem bit and then he's going to just walk out and then people are going to cheer and then I think it's for me. But then I turn around and I'm like, <gasps> Then that's why you should have a minister on Ready. hand all the time. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna get down on one knee or both. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one you want. Whichever immediately. One you want. Yes, immediately. Yes, yes. We don't know what my she's trying to propose ready. at that time. But. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear this veil at every show. I'll be like, just in case. <laughs> just in case Eminem shows up. I saw your other show and you had a bag on the whole time, so I could. I'll see. The you YSL bag. Mm -hmm. That YSL bag, girl. You have a YSL bag? No, I don't. You don't? No. Speaking of YSL bags, I want to talk to Cynthia. Okay, me and Cynthia have known each other for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And we used to be hella time. broke. Hella broke. We're in the neighborhood where we were broke, too. Yeah, yeah. we came full circle. Mm -hmm. But we were so broke that we had to share like an $8 meal. Yes. At a restaurant called Xiaomei. Was it $8? I thought it was 4 $4 yeah. back then? I think it was pretty, like $4 back then. $4, $4 yeah. back then? $4? Yes. And I was so broke, Lynn was paying $4. I, I didn't even pay. chip in for it. She paid for it all. <laughs> and then we would sit and cry about our problems. Yes. <laughs> and we would say, like, how everybody else is the problem. Uh, yeah. but <laughs> You remember? <laughs> yeah. We're like, but we're so funny. And, and, we, said, and we said it was a pity party. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we were having a pity, a pity party. party. We were having so. a pity party. But, yeah. we, but we understood each other. And then we we went to do business outside of 
LA Mm -hmm. and we were roommates. So we always had a a bond. We always had our own inside jokes and piss everybody off because no one got what we were saying, etc. But we went from sharing a four dollar meal that Cynthia couldn't even pay for to now she owns her own makeup artist company yes is that how you say that yes hair and makeup artistry company and i have a team of girls um that service brides all around the world and locally and afar and uh it's been good it's been a good run actually this month marks the eighth year (gasps) eight years i know thank you so tell okay okay okay. because you you went to i knew you when you went to hair and makeup school Mm mm-hmm yep and then you started doing people's makeups for just to get yourself out there. Mm-hmm. And but you were still working a full time job. I was, yes. Okay. How did you make that jump from quitting your full time job to just going mm-hmm. into owning your own business? How did I jump from full time job to my? Okay, so I said this on my IG live just like a, an hour ago, and I love this story because it's true, and it it's like. I think a lot of people can relate, but I worked um, at a nine to five corporate job because my mom convinced me my whole life that like hair and makeup, like service business isn't like the way to go because it's like you don't really need much of an education from what she says. Not that she's downplaying it. She's just like, well, you have so much more of an American education. You could do, you know, be a doctor, lawyer, you know, all the stuff an immigrant parent would tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long story short, I've always had you know, I've always done hair and makeup mm-hmm. on myself and then mm-hmm. with other people, right? Correct. Like when we would go to company parties and stuff yeah. like that. Because me and Lynn, we used to work together. Right. So um, I always saw it as a hobby. But then when I um, come time my marriage, because at that time I was married. Now I'm not. But mm-hmm. at that time when I was getting married, um, I was willing to pay an arm and a leg. Like not even like the trial alone, just the service on the day of for myself. Nobody else was over a thousand dollars. Mm hmm. So I paid for it and I was like, God dang, like people oh, find for your own my wedding? own wedding. I oh. paid for it for myself. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she was a great artist, but she came late. She wasn't giving like all the, you know, things that I, I believe that, you know, would make a bride feel like a bride on her day. Mm. So it kind of like when it, it was like an aha moment because that paired with like, I already wanted to change careers. I knew I wasn't going to be working at a corporate job forever. Like I wanted to pivot somehow, but I didn't know how to do it and I was still afraid because I was like can you really make money from doing something you love to do Mm -hmm. because it's my passion here in makeup so um what I did was I started to take classes internet in 2015 was starting to pop off I started organically posting work that I did as a student Mm -hmm. while I was going through school Mm -hmm. and then people outside of my um, friends and family started hitting me up Mm-hmm. and wanting me to do gigs. So I would work 70 to 90 hours a week because I would work a 95 during the day and then at night or on weekends, whenever I had free, I would just pick up a gig, pick mm-hmm. up gigs. I was so busy. I had, was lack of sleep, I was like bags under my eyes, all that stuff. But I was very determined after a year to quit my job because at that time I was starting to have some friction with my management company mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a happy place to work. I didn't want to stay there. So long story short, I saved up about three months worth of like cushion funds so that if anything happens when I quit my job and funds didn't wasn't abundant, mm-hmm. I could still pay for myself and long um, like worst case scenario, I can pick up a, another part time job or something. Mm-hmm. But it ended up working out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it ended up working out. Because it was your out. lane. It's just like your path. This it is was what you're meant to do. But also, people think it's an overnight like sensation or overnight like you know what happened to me but it wasn't because you and i know we worked at another company together we were like passing out flyers Mm -hmm. in the middle of the street like Mm -hmm. talking to people like pretending we were shopping at a (laughs) supermarket or something right 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 we were like we were like talent recruiters yeah yeah. exactly Mm -hmm. we were talent recruiters and it was just like taking like it it, don't that build like the foundation Mm -hmm. for where we are today yes and like high five to us. Yes. Seriously, like Lynn's not saying much about herself right now. I'm sure she's talked about it in other places, <laughs> but she's amazing. Like, look at what you're doing right now. You know, like all the things that Girl, you. I'm not traveling to Paris to do makeup. She this this she's traveling to where have you been? Paris, mm-hmm. Hawaii, Hawaii, Italy, Italy. Yeah, yeah. All to do hair and makeup. And you and you. She said that you manifested that it would be they would pay for your travel because it's right. a destination wedding. Yes. So tell us about how you manifest that. You just put it in the space, like what Lynn's saying. Like, by next year, Lynn's going to be married to Eminem. <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. No, but so, but, but okay. So you did manifest it, but how did you market that? Well, I had really good clients, specifically one client named Karen, and mm-hmm. I met her through um, Josh, which is somebody we mutually know, and I was married to. Mm-hmm. And uh, he introduced me, and she liked my services, but at that time she was booking me for as gifts for other people. She mm-hmm. never really used my own service. Mm-hmm. And then come time her getting married she, in Las Vegas, um, she really liked my work. So she ended up booking me and my team. So she flew us out and she took her all the accommodations. So shout out to Karen. And then Karen, again, I think just doing good work and this continually, maybe within what we were seeing and talking I was telling her that I wanted to do more destination Mm -hmm. weddings and events. So she turned 40 and she always had a vision of doing a photo shoot on Paris. Mm. So she, without a doubt, like told me she wanted to do it like months in advance. And then we booked every, she helped me book everything. And there it was. She flew you and the team out to Paris? No, to Paris, just me. Because it was only her that needed. But for her wedding, she flew, she flew us out and she took care of everything out in Vegas for her wedding. So what I'm hearing is have rich clients. There you go. (laughs) That, because they can value you, you. that value you. But you know what I know about Cynthia? What I know about Cynthia is first of all, you're very charismatic. Thank so you. when you're around people and you're doing their makeup, you feel they feel very like you said what you were missing mm-hmm. from your makeup artist mm-hmm. on your wedding day. So yes. they feel very VIP, very and she calls it a glam session. Yes. That's what you call it, I right? Do. Yeah, I yeah. Do. So she calls it a glam session mm-hmm. and she's fun and you really like you really make the person feel like they're the most important person on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you do that naturally, though. Mm, You've just always been that, that person. So I think that's why Karen saw that and likes working with you. And there you go. A side note, though, how do I market that? Do I say, like, I'm a hype woman? Because, like, You're I really feel woman. like that's value. You're the bridal hype woman? Yeah. <laughs> You're the bride's hype woman? I feel like that's, <laughs> and that is valuable, but I don't put that on there. But that's re- truly what it is. Like, yeah. it's an experience, right? Yeah, like, yeah, when yeah. they come to your show, it's like an experience. Right, right, right. right By right. the way, am I supposed to be looking like this way when Doesn't I'm talking matter. to you? Camera, or, like, me, look at whatever. you? Because, like, I like looking at my yeah, people. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, we're just looking at the camera, not... <laughs> we're, we're, like, addressing each other like this. <laughs> no, so I uh-huh. think that makes a big difference, too, to why... Make, that's a big part of why people book you over and over. Uh, you know what I mean? Yes. It's a, it's who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. That's, and, and the business sense, obviously. Well, yeah. so you and I were... We've experienced a lot in life. We're, yeah, like... Yeah up there in age now, right? Yeah. And before I'd be shy and be like, no, no, no. But honestly, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, it's true. I'm 44, or Cynthia's 41. 41, this bitch, I can't stand you. I can't stand but, you either. <laughs> we're at the age now where we're like, listen, we're fucking sexy. It is, That's yeah. just what no, it is. It's true. It's fucking true. It's like, I like being in my 40s. I do too. The only thing I like about being in my 20s is the energy, that's all. Well, but I still have a lot of energy I now. I look at her. However, things sag where they it's don't different. sag. Yeah, you, they used to sag. Girl. Mm-hmm. And wrinkles and stuff. Because aging is real. It's real. It's going to happen. But we should embrace it. We do. Yeah. And even though I have makeup on and I do my hair, it doesn't mean I don't embrace myself. It's she just embraces I like it. dressing up. That's it. She does. Yeah. She looks great. Do you dress up like this when you go do your makeup? When you no, go do makeup? No, no, no. Because no. then a lot of the times it's like early call time. So I... I would rather sleep and be well rested yeah. to take care of my client than yeah. for me to like wake up two hours before to take and care of myself. And you don't want to outshine the bride. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's funny? Some of the brides may want to outshine the bride. Do they? Yeah. So we're, our, it's our job to be like, well, the bride booked this type of service and this is what it is. So we kind of like, you know, change it up a little bit, mm-hmm. but we always make sure the bride is yeah. the star. It's her day. Yeah. Do you so when you market it is it is it all word of mouth? Um, some of it's word of mouth. Fifty percent of it is through social media because mm-hmm. I have a tracker, and then the rest of it, thank God, is through word of mouth from past brides, vendors that used to work with us, yeah. venues that have had us there. So it's gratifying to know. Yeah, yeah. So you, do you pay for Instagram ads? Not yet, no. Wow, so all of it just through hashtags and people finding you and yeah. referring you and stuff? Yes, and I'm very that. lucky because there's like this one group of girls, shout out to the twins, and like they're at an age where, you know, remember when we used to go to weddings back to back to back because everybody at that age was getting married? Uh-huh. Like they're at that age right now and they just continue to refer one person after another and we keep 
like the bridesmaid end up being the bride and then it keeps going wow. yeah, yeah yeah but again because you do good work mm. so then they keep referring you they don't have to refer you there's yeah, they, so many hair and makeup artists this is true and i don't require any of my friends and family to have to book me that's another right, thing right right because some people are just like you know yeah like you have to or yeah you know. but for me i'm like it's subjective it's up to you if you yeah. like it and i feel very humble that like a friend all the way in like high school would like want to book me after yeah all these years you know because you're so good at who because we, I always ask you to do my makeup for stuff. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And then it does either it doesn't work out or she's traveling schedule or wise. doing stuff ske- schedule wise. Yeah. But you're like my favorite one. Aww. You know what I mean? Really? Yes. Uh-huh. What the heck? If someone's going to do my face, like I have a taping on the 25th and I'm like, Cynthia, do my makeup. <laughs> she's already trying to book me. But already. also because she's very expensive and like, um, I can't afford <laughs> well, you know what? Price. Here's the thing about what Lynn and my friends do very well, and I appreciate them. Uh-huh. And so this is a kind of like a PSA. Like, mm-hmm. if you appreciate your friends and you want to support them, you're already paying service for other people. Mm-hmm. Like, it's 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 a good gesture to, like, you still pay. And Lynn pays me. Mm-hmm. Lynn doesn't do it for free. Unless I offer, mm-hmm. she's always willing to take care of it because she wants to show me that I'm worth it. And yeah. I think that's important. So yeah. shout out to you. I mean, I will say I can't pay you what you're worth. But I can afford this much. But I want you to tell people mm-hmm. how much you normally charge for a, a service. For, let's say, the bride. Just the bride. Okay. Well, I customize all my packages. So oh, it do? depends. Yeah, it depends uh. on the information that's shared. And I don't like to disclose okay. price because then people will be like, well, you told me it was this price. But then there's things okay. that, you know what I mean? So it's customized. Yes. So okay. you can go onto my website, mm-hmm. beautybybonbon.com. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then just fill out the contact form and then I'll be in touch. I promise you I'll send over the rates and if she, we're available. And she will too. She'll, yes. she'll get back to you. Yes. So what do you, what do you want to tell young ladies who want to create their own business like what's your advice um my advice is or not just young ladies i'm mm, sorry just any in general right Mm -hmm. that's a good question i know it's such a basic one right Mm -hmm. and i've asked been asked that before but i want to give a genuine answer um what advice would i give i mean first off find out what you enjoy doing Mm. If I didn't enjoy doing hair and makeup, I wouldn't do it, even though it seems fun and mm-hmm. glamorous. But if I didn't enjoy it, I think I would have just done it a little bit and then give up on it. So if there's something you really enjoy doing, and uh, you know, then you'll be willing to stay up late nights mm-hmm. and wake up early mornings. Mm-hmm. Like, this is an example. I am notorious for waking up late. <laughs> notorious. That's why I'm a terrible employee. <laughs> yeah. And at school, I've always been the tardy one. Yeah. Like if you, even if when my job moved to like summer Fridays, right, and they had you come in an hour later, I still found a way to come 15 minutes later after that <laughs> yeah, yeah. because I didn't enjoy what I right. did. Yeah, yeah. So because I enjoy what I do, I literally wake up at like 5 a.m. I mean, mm-hmm. get to a 5 a.m. call time now Damn. because... I love what I do. I love the people that I'm working with. And I can only count on myself. Mm -hmm. And another thing, too, is, like, be okay with working hard. I know the new generation there. I've worked with them before. (laughs) Some of them are great. A lot of them aren't. (laughs) (laughs) And it's because there's a different way of working, right? But at at the end of the day... Hard work is hard work. Yes. You know, um, hard work with some guidance, I think, right. would be good. Work so, ethic. Yeah. What, what do you look for? Because you hired a team. So what do you look for when you hire someone? That's why Lynn is a... <laughs> That's why you... One day, you got to make sure that TV show, uh, like the talk show. Yes. Oprah, no. I know you had a little bit of that going, but we got to keep it. We got to keep it going. Because no, no, you, you look for, good questions. Yeah. And I look... I honestly look for good people. I could always teach her if they have a good skill set already and they're talented, then I can develop it to become more, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. we can always train, but we can't train somebody to be a good person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the bottom line. Like my girls, I love them. I genuinely love these girls. Mm-hmm. You know, we, I hope we have more time to hang out, but like they're good people. So when you meet them and they're doing your hair and makeup, at the end of the day, you're going to feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe the eyeliner is a little crooked. <laughs> But they're still like you still yeah, like yeah, them, you know. Yeah. No. Yeah. This wasn't what I asked well, for, but but I like she's you and nice. I'm happy. Yeah, she's <laughs> nice. I look like a you know, uh, you know. <laughs> One side but, of the face doesn't match the other, but it's okay. Good nah. people, so good people, good attitude, good work ethic. Yeah, good work ethic. Just just good people. Like someone I would just want to have as a friend. Nice. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm. I'm I don't suggest having to be friends with everybody you work with, but for yeah. me, that works out. That worked out for you. Yes. And did you have to fire anybody? 
Yes. You did. Not fire because they're uh, privately contracted oh, like, with me, like independently ways. contracted. But I, yeah, part ways mm-hmm. because they just, yeah, their way of working was different. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say. Right, right, right. Different mm-hmm. work ethic. Yes. There we go. <laughs> there we it's go. Di- it's a generational gap. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Well, here's my thing. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put it to it like this. Like, it's a no-no and it's a ta- taboo that if you're working under my name that you try to promote yourself. Mm. Right? So don't promote yourself when you're at a when you're beauty working, by Bon Bon game. Yeah. Well, any, anybody that you're yeah, contracted yeah. under, you don't go and say like, oh, well, I got, I did this myself. Or, oh, oh like, or oh, hey, shit. Or, or hey, you, um, like, even though I'm on a gig with somebody else, but like, oh, I know you like my work, but here, you can contact me <gasps> on the side. How did you know she was doing that? Um, well, my, <laughs> you just I just have my to... way of finding oh, okay, okay, out. Yeah, okay, I have okay, my way of finding it. out. Because the truth always comes out. The truth, the always, truth comes always comes out. out. And that's just not cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you didn't do the groundwork, you didn't do the legwork, you didn't, pay, you didn't, I always try to give my respects or I give credit where credit is due. Right. I try to do as much as I can, maybe right, right, overly, right. but yeah. because I like, I genuinely feel like we all didn't get here by ourselves right 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 right. yeah so that's why i mentioned my team because Mm -hmm. i didn't do it by myself i wouldn't have been able to go to paris unless they're here i wouldn't have been able to celebrate carol's birthday at disneyland unless my team was doing a gig out in san diego for me right 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 yeah and you treat them well you're a good boss uh, I try. I try. You're a good boss. Thank you. <laughs> I try. She's I so try. modest. <laughs> She's so much. How long does it take you to get ready? Right all now, this, I've gotten this. it down to a science. Today, I did a little bit more eye makeup because I did a live before mm-hmm. to set up for today mm-hmm. for my own business. But I, I now my makeup is probably half hour and then hair is like another half hour. So I'll get it down to like an hour, hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it used to be longer? Yes. It used to be three hours. I would be blending the shit out of everything and just <laughs> full glam everything, no matter what. Even I was going to the gym, I was like full. Okay, you know? we're talking about right now about hair and makeup, but mm-hmm. Cynthia also acts. She's an actor. She also sings. Mm-hmm. This bitch sings. <laughs> she can sing uh-huh. and dance. Oh, she's a triple threat. Okay, triple threat. I don't know who I'm threatening because she's, she's like <laughs> I don't do it anymore. But no, she's got all. I'm telling you, she's got all these talents. So, but she just landed on. Um, Jalen has a question. Yes. Question. Yes, so Jalen, get involved. Yes. So I wanted to know when you do your hair, are you doing your color is already done? Yes. Okay, so are you doing like a blow dry, maybe a possible flat iron? With on herself iron? or the bride? Oh, on f- service. Oh, on self. myself. On oh, I'd say so blow dry and then I use a hot tool to curl and all that style. Right. I was just a time difference to make the girls understand that they could never. <laughs> Do you need to get on camera right now? Come, come here. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Two episodes. Oh, Jalen had two episodes. Oh, Jaylen, had two okay. episodes. Okay. This is about you. Oh, well, I know, but I, I don't want to threesome. You know what I mean? Like, um, we we want to, we okay. want to talk about you. Okay. Okay. So. Let's talk about dating. Ooh. Let's get into this. Let's get into the dating world. Okay. What's it like dating looking like you? <laughs> well, What's that off, like? First off, I'm. I benefit off of me being a makeup artist and hairstylist because, girl, I do not look like this when I wake up. <laughs> it don't matter. You're still cute. Mm. You're still cute. Maybe we can show a split screen of before and after because <laughs> sometimes I look at myself, I'm like, ooh. You're like, ooh. Yes. No, but you still, but tell me, tell okay. us the truth. What's, what's it like no, dating looking, truth. looking like this? Okay. Uh-huh. Well, it's fun. Okay. It's fun. Do do okay. men have I, a... I say uh-huh. I have fun right now because I'm at an age where I know myself more. Yes. So I feel like I could be in the driver's seat a lot of the times. I'm not nervous when I meet them the first time, but a lot of the guys, they're nervous. Of course they are. <laughs> Look at you. Of course they are. Okay. But do you think that they assume certain things or whatever? Uh-huh. Because from your pictures or the way you look, do they assume you're a gold digger? Do they assume mm. anything like that? Well, the assumption that I mainly get is that I'm an ABG. Do you know what that is? American born No um, gold digger? Asian baby girl. Back in the day, it was Asian, Asian baby, baby gangster. Girl? And the criteria is... Dyed hair, uh-huh. blonde hair, um, long fake lashes. Uh-huh. Um, you would have a YSL or a you know a name brand bag. LV or some mm-hmm. shit. Uh-huh. Um, what else would you have? Like a name brand. Co- Everything has to be pretty much name brand. Right. And then it comes with an attitude. Mm. Right. Um, I think I have some of those things, <laughs> but maybe I'm like a retired version. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you, but you've never had an entitlement kind of spoiled bratty. Yeah, no, no. Vibe well, I don't know if they do either, but they're more of like badass bitches. Like, oh, are they? Are like they? they'll cut you at any time. Do they kind have of long, a... thick um, eyeliner they that goes like this? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And they got like lipstick. Mm -hmm. They got the... the whole nine. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so they yeah, assume yeah. that you're like that. They could. Yeah, if I have an assumption, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. Mm. That... Yeah. Oh, and that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah. And then, do you date younger, older? What What do you like to date? I like. I don't mind a little younger. Not in the twenties, but like early thirties, mid thirties to starting to work towards my age. <laughs> <laughs> The, because we just thing... learned that what did we just learn? Men don't mature until they're forty-five. Forty-five. Okay. <laughs> the the thing about it too, Lynn, is that like okay, and some people are really nice because they'll want to introduce me to people. Mm -hmm. But then these people look not only their age, if not older, and uh, like I'm not saying you don't want, okay, you don't I, want a silver fox yet. No, no, not even that. That's being well maintained. Okay. Like they look like they have their stuff together, like right. they're taking care of themselves. Right. But some people, they kind of like, for me, like I, I'm at an age where aesthetically, like I put myself together. Right. I would want someone to put themselves together right. as well. Right. You know, I'm not all put together all the time, but if you can get, I want you to be able to get down. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Because if you got to put in the effort, uh -huh. Then they gotta put in the freaking effort. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So yes. what do you what do you like about you like dating? I do. You do like there's, dating? There's there's moments. Most of the time I enjoy it because you know me, I like getting to know people. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm intrigued by their story. I'm an active listener. She is. Very generous active listener. Yes. There's, there's not a lot of people that are active listeners. No, and they're not. <laughs> sometimes in my on my dates I would say that to them too. What do you say? I'll just if they talk a lot, I'll just They'll, then I'll be like, oh, so sure. I'll ask them first, share with me what are some qualities you like about the person that you're dating or uh -huh. you would want to be with. And then I would share. And one of the qualities I would share is being an active listener. And then you can see in their head, in their eyes, that they're checking <laughs> if they were or not. And then most of the times they'll be like, oh, so how was your day? <laughs> but at least they check themselves. They do. At least they check themselves. That's right. Okay, do you do you get past the first date often or do you go on a lot of just first dates because you don't, you don't really connect? Well, nowadays, because you go through rounds, right? If mm -hmm. people have been going through dating, like one round would be super exciting and then the next round would be a little daunting because it's like, oh, it's like a new batch of people. Mm -hmm. They're not as great and I'm asking the same question, same mm -hmm. conversation. Yeah, yeah. You take a little break, you get back on and then you're reinvigorated, oh, right? Okay, 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 okay. So your question was, and I just talked about active listening now, I don't remember. <laughs> what did you say? Do you go through a lot of first dates or do you, are they usually repeat, like second, so, third date? Yeah, so now I kind of have a better idea what I want. So like a lot of them are just first dates mm -hmm. a lot of them are just first dates and then some of them make it to the second round and some <laughs> so, so how, how does how does a guy if they want how did they get the first date do they just ask what do you have to connect you talk on them do you text for a while mm, all of them are different i think um yeah. you kind of have to flow with it but for the most part I, i'm on dating apps mm -hmm. so that's what it is dating apps and then then we connect with one another um either on social media or through text and then some of them like to get on calls and some of them like to do FaceTime. So it just really like you okay. roll with the punches. But do you ever ask them out or they you wait for them to ask you out? Um, or for, the most, for the most part, I think you kind of end up feeling it out and mm -hmm. it, it makes sense to be asked out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I like when they ask me yeah. out. And I don't mind paying either. I know you didn't ask this. I don't mind paying <laughs> either, but I'm at a phase in my life where I would like to be taken care of. Of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. Because I came. Pay. Look at. <laughs> Of course, well, I should pay. Well, Lynn, you, you, I know you keep going back to like, well, you're good at looking. Why don't they it's just? It's not just about that. that. It's the, we're women. This we is are true. Gifts. See, and that's why I need to hang out with we're you. We're already more. present. <laughs> like we're here. No, I used to be that. Oh, I'll, I'll pay. I want to show my independence. We don't. We're already independent. That's we right. We don't need to show it no more. And this is what I've been telling people too. Like I get a lot of credit for being an independent, strong woman, mm -hmm. but I don't want to have that. No, it's no. hard. Tiffany Haddish was like, being a strong woman is hard. It is. We I want to be hugged. That's right. <laughs> I want to be hugged. I want to be. A small little spoon sometimes, yes. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And because we're boss, you know, when you're bossy in your work life, in life, mm -hmm. you want to come home and have a man who's masculine and that's right, takes care of just tell me where we're eating, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And can I share with you the difference yeah. between the younger generation of when I date, mm -hmm. date the younger guys versus the older ones? Mm -hmm. The younger ones are more like go Dutch, like half half, or like they don't mind you even paying, right? Right, I know, yeah. but the older ones. 
they take the question mark out of it. Um, I had a, you know, a couple of them, which I really enjoy. And again, I don't mind paying because I came from a relationship, a 10 year marriage that was 50 50 on almost everything. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and I would have to hold my own, which was great because it taught me how to become independent. But mm -hmm. now I'm like, OK, I, I, yeah. I know how to be independent. Let me, right. Let, right. Let yeah. me get dependent on a good leader. No, no, really. <laughs> yeah. It, no, seriously. Um, you deserve it. OK, go ahead. Thank you. OK, but, so, so the, older and the older one, they'll say, you know, I enjoy ha food. That's one thing I really enjoy eating and experiencing new things. Mm -hmm. And the, another thing is I enjoy having good company. And that is you. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to worry about paying for food. Anytime we go and eat. Big or small doesn't matter. You can offer if you want, but I will. I will just just assume I will always be taking care of it. That's what the guy said. Yes. Oh, see, I love that. Yes. And he's in his forties. He, they're older. Yes. I love that. It's so classic. They it, yes. And they communicate it. They communicate it. There's no question. There's no assumptions. Mm -hmm. There's no, because we always said if a man leaves a things up to assumptions, mm -hmm. we're going to assume the worst. That's right. We're going to fill in the blanks. Always and do. it's not going to be good. And when we have <laughs> when we have time on our hands, <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. You, have, you pick up the phone, you talk to a girlfriend. Ooh, oh. that's another. <laughs> it went to another galaxy. And then you get someone like me that'd be like, show up to his house, bitch. <laughs> tell him. <laughs> you show up to his oh house and you tell him. God. Lynn, who drove me crazy. <laughs> this one friend. <laughs> guy was like ghosting her or some shit he was yep. like ignoring her from yep. the east coast mm -hmm. he, she, we were on the east coast yep he was in la yep. and he was ghosting you and he i said you show me. up to his fucking house you go. and you tell him and she got me all worked up <laughs> yeah. and i was like yeah you're right you're right i drove <laughs> down there saw his car outside i'm like i know he's at <laughs> he's home fucking home this bitch went up the stairs knocked on his window yeah. he wasn't opening i knew he was inside just stayed on there i'm like oh bitch oh, ah. Yeah, but you know what? Listen, don't ghost people. Don't ghost your girlfriend because they were <laughs> dating. They were that was your boyfriend. That was my boyfriend. That, at the it's time. not like a one date or two dates. That was her boyfriend who That's ghosted right. her. That's right. Um, but but I'm not like that anymore. No, we're not. We're healed. No, no. <laughs> We're healed. We're in our forties now. Are. No, 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 no. Now we don't have that. That's kind of too time. much effort. That is a lot of effort, though. But um, wow, I love that. I love that the the older generation are, are being classic. Not men. all of them, but what I've experienced. If there's a defined line between yeah. the two, that's what I've seen. But it's what you're attracting to. I hope so. You know. I hope so. Mm -hmm. so yeah. How, how many dates in do you um, sleep with them? Do you have sex? Do you ever have sex on the first date? No, not never. Oh, no, if is it no. Mm. If you put it like that, no. Because there's different categories, it's right? A, Before you... I had a moment where after I I was separated, I was not, mm -hmm. I was not, um, wasn't dating. I was just going for, mm, I was, hooking, I was up. hooking up. Mm -hmm. I was just hooking up. But yeah, no. Hooking up is, that's, the, I mean, that's the intention. Mm -hmm. But if it's an actual date, no. So then you wait, what, you just, you just, is there a rule? Is there like at least three, at least four? Or just whenever you're feeling I think, it? I think like that's a, a good threshold, but I never really got to that point, I don't think. What do you mean? Like that long, that many dates on with one person. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But you like relationships. I so love you, relationships. Yeah, she likes relationships. So you meet one that you really like, mm. and that's the one that you just focus on. That you yes, hang there's, with. Yes, there's something, I think a lot of people fantasize about, I mean, especially men fantasize about like, you know, threesomes or multiple partners and all that stuff. But there's something to be said about like that old school love that mm -hmm. you've been together for so long, you know, and just finding new ways to love each other mm -hmm. and like just getting in the thick of it. And just it's just like ooey gooey love I for know. me. You know, I, I like I know I seem like I can't stand marriages, but <laughs> for now. I just can't stand marriages that clearly aren't working. Yes. And they're like trying to make it work, whatever. And yeah. you're like, just leave the motherfucker. Like, what is the, I understand. I know it's, there's more to it than that, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying, logically speaking, mm -hmm. just leave him. There's yeah. so many men out there, isn't there? I mean, <sighs> but anyway, you know. so, but, but I mean, I say that, but, but really I, I love love and I love celebrating. I love going to weddings. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that. I'm like a little fucking teenager mm -hmm. in love. You know what I mean? Once you, see, once you see Lynn in a relationship, <laughs> you will true see the true Lynn. Cause oh, no, she, Joe, are you okay? You okay? <laughs> he didn't even believe it. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Joe heard it and almost tripped out all over it. Oh, sure. See, I know. I was no. trying to bypass it yeah, and not see yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, but no, you tried to, okay. I'm very sweet. And I, I'm, I'm you very are, sweet in relationships. No, seriously, you're very giving. Yeah. And I can't wait for the world to see you in a relationship, yeah. like a thriving relationship. Hi, Ain't Ethan. nobody ready for it. Ain't no man ready for it yet. When he's, when it's, 
he will show up and he's gonna be fucking fantastic. I agree. High but five until for that. but until then, I'm gonna stay single and manifest Eminem. Mm, there you go. <laughs> well, okay. Can I ask you what is it about Eminem? <gasps> do you oh, like? God. Is it like the? You know, you fall you in love what? with the character, or do you know him? No, no, I don't know him. Know him, but you know what? Like the thing is, what I know of him from what I see mm-hmm. is like I think he's misunderstood the way I am. Okay, and that's why I connect with him. This is what I'm thinking though in my head because okay. he could just be really throw me in the trunk. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm saying he might like that too. Though. Yeah, yeah, it okay. might be like, oh my god, the pain. <laughs> no, no, but I just feel like he's misunderstood, and I think he's kinder, mm. and he's a better person than people want to make him to be like they don't get him you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so you feel like you guys can you can relate to yeah. him in that level okay and you know for someone to raise his daughter adopt a daughter that's not even his and mm. you know do all that stuff i'm just like i know that he's kinder than what meets the eye and what and he that's portrays. what i like yeah it's what okay. he portrays and um same thing with me like on stage i'm more i'm kind of like a cunt right but then if you get to know me i'm kind you're like the I'm most not, loving person you know so i can understand what yeah, you mean by yeah, with Eminem. So i can see that yes but most people can't see past that stuff mm. most people just see face value mm. and that's what they judge you on yeah and that's what happens to me a lot which that's why i understand you think Eminem. so you think people just see you at face value um no i think when it comes to dating okay so like men will just see me for like the mask I wear or whatever and that's what they think it is. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like take the time to like, you know, maybe that's not really her. Maybe, you know, she's mm-hmm. goofy or she's I've had a guy actually tell me, you know, you're a lot sweeter than I thought you'd be <laughs> But Isn't he that took a the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a compliment. But he took the time to get past that mask mm-hmm. and which most guys can't do. Well or don't uh, have the to patience. To be fair, opposite too. Some women don't look past it either because I think now the dating age is like there's so many options you think you have out there, so you don't really take the time. Yeah. I'm guilty of it as well too. But you like just swipe. Eh. Yeah. But yeah. like honestly, like I think we would thrive back in the days in like, you know, again, old school, getting to know people. And yeah. then through friends, a lot of like the friends I used to have, that's where we developed a better relationship right. right because it was a foundation of that but that's interesting to know i never knew of that about eminem why you were always attracted because yeah. you throw his name around a lot right 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 and people think I mean, plus when he performs it makes me feel some type of way oh yeah you know what i mean yeah, it, yeah, gives, yeah. it gives me butterflies yeah. in that way and i'm like oh he's so talented i like men who are good at their job Don't you, isn't that turn you on yes when yes they're good at their job yes and they're thriving Ooh. and they're just taking charge yes. we like that we like i love that. that i always pick the one that's like um the good, the good ones at what they do, like the good speaker mm-hmm. or the good comedian yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'm they can always... look any which way, mm-hmm. but when they're in their zone mm-hmm. and they're doing what they're love, oh, so hot, so sexy. Yeah. Look at us. This is what career women like. <laughs> In their in her forties, yes, we like we men. fantasize about them doing their job. They're doing their job so <laughs> well. It's sexy. It's very hot. Like when a guy comes, if a, if you were dating a guy and he's mm-hmm. complaining about how his job and how he's mistreated and how blah blah blah, you'd be so turned off. Yeah, well, you'll try to support them a little bit, and after a while, you're just like, dude, is you get your <laughs> yeah, get your shit together, right? Yes, yes. After a while, it's you, bro. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you out dating and enjoying yourself. Thank and, you. You know, it's time. I would. I don't do dating apps anymore because, oh, yeah. like, I got a child from it. I can't do that no more. Well, but that's probably the only way you can meet people unless it's at a gig. At, at a gig. At the bar. Mm-hmm. I just. I'm. I'm fantasizing about either Eminem or meeting another like exec. Okay. Like someone who's like wealthy or already yes. has something going for him that can teach me a thing or two. I love that. And I think that's what what you care for most, that you guys, like, learn and grow together, Mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. If they're stagnant, you're like, "Mm." You're like, ew, gross. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's true. It's true. I think also... uh uh Go, go, go. Are you um, dating someone now? Can you tell... Are you... Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Yes, I am. Is he younger? You know him. The younger one? Yeah. Still? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We went back to that? (laughs) Oh, we went back to that? Mm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. We went back to working it. That's through cool. It. I didn't working know you're working it. through it mm. because you know why? He's yes. not an idiot. No, he's not stupid. No. He knows what he has. He's not gonna let that go. If anybody's an idiot, I'm an idiot. How are you an idiot? Don't... How? How? Okay. How? I'm just saying, like, I just love being in love. You know. So Aww. sometimes you just look past a lot of things. So you just like love them, love them up. You like the coral flags, the pink flags? They're okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but we're working but on you're it. working it out working i like that out, as yeah. long as you're working it out as long as he's also working it out yeah and it's not just a one-way thing yeah and we've I, been, uh -huh. I learned everybody has their own process everyone has their own process mm -hmm. everyone has their process and some people may be in the express lane and some people may be in the other lane but we all get to the same destination you're right. Yes. No, no, really. I yeah. learned that too. Because I have men tell me that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't process as fast as you do. I just don't. I need time. Yeah. And I'd be like, what do you mean? Yes. And I've had to really, like, dial in on it to know, like, it's not one is better than the other. It's just we all have our own journey. And you have to have the patience for And you know what? I think men process slower than we do. Yeah. I feel like not all, but yeah. they just don't operate the same way like their brain is not wired that way mm. so they have to really be they have to really work at it well i think you're right because even when growing up when we were playing with toys and stuff like that mm -hmm. men were taught differently right how mm -hmm. to play and women were more like interpersonal like about emotions and stuff so we were already developing like our barbies were talking to each other that's and right we're yeah. playing cooking exactly and... Oh, yeah. interesting. So it's more interactive. It's more personable. It's more personalized. It's more emotional. Yeah. The way we play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we at that time, we were already developing it. Whereas for men, they were taught differently. I think it's changing now, but that's really what it is. You really like this guy. <laughs> lucky for him. No, honestly. I know we all have flaws and we all have issues, whatever. But lucky for him. Good for him that he now knows to work on stuff you know i didn't know that i'm happy for that thank you oh look at that would you ever would you do marriage again i would you would yeah see how quick i said that <laughs> you know because it's but, really not about like the paperwork and stuff like that yeah. right i know i i used to say that too it's just like oh it's just the paperwork it's the formality mm -hmm. there's a mentality that comes behind it too there's something sacred about it if you really change a perspective because mm. i know like nowadays we We've kind of tainted and and of course the idea of marriage before was more for who are our lineage lineage right mm -hmm. so who what we're gonna pass our stuff down to mm. for me i take more of the romantic route on mm. it where it's like it's a sacred bond between mm. two people you know and for those people to honor it for a lifetime that's something very yeah sacred again mm -hmm. that i would love to explore what's the right person nice yeah so what would you do different this time if you were to get married again is there something you do different or I I think I I didn't understand what it meant to be in a union before mm. I think I just went off of what I thought society said a wife should do mm. but I didn't really like it wasn't fully present to it and it wasn't I wasn't grounded in being in a relationship mm -hmm. um, and I think now that I know myself more I can contribute things that I like and things that I don't like and the same for that other person. Now I can be present to it mm. versus just like going going with what I think I'm supposed oh, to do. Oh, and now you, know, you know yourself more too. Yes, and that's what I really enjoy about life right now. Like that, oh. I'm really getting to know myself. Even dating too. Like, um, like I know what I like, what I don't like. So it's easy to just cut the fat right mm -hmm, away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and communicate it. and communicate it. And I do that too. And I don't ghost. I herself. don't ghost people. I don't do things I don't want done to myself. Mm -hmm. So I will be the one to text you a long, long yes. text to let you know, like, hey, I know we're consciously uncoupling because <laughs> <laughs> what, before we run out of time, yes. I want to ask you, what was your favorite part about being married to your former husband? Oh, that's a great one. Um, just sharing a lot of memories together, like mm. trying new things together. He really taught me how to be independent. I cannot take that credit away from him because mm -hmm. he taught me. He was a really good self-advocator. Mm. So he, through his examples, he taught me how to advocate for myself mm -hmm. because I didn't, when I would get mad, I would get frustrated and I'll hold everything in and I wouldn't communicate it. Mm. I would just, I didn't want to make any noise because I, I thought that it would cause too much friction mm -hmm. with people but he taught me how to communicate in a healthy way for people to hear what i had to say and whether you agreed with it or not it's okay because if you're my loved one you'd stick around if not it wasn't meant to be mm. so he really taught me how to be a good self advocator mm -hmm. yeah oh and you grew up together too because we y'all were young yeah there's deep love for each other in a like you know a family way you know yeah. and no matter what like he's always gonna be in my life yeah and i'll hopefully be in his um 
and yeah because just because the romance didn't work out for us mm -hmm. i i'm proud of how we've pivoted to where we are today because you're good friends now i mean you see it yeah yeah Oh, I love that. Yeah. Because we're always bashing ex-husbands and we shit. Are. But you know what? There's always something good. We always learn something from them. But there are things to still bash about, of too. Of course. <laughs> and we will always bash, believe me. We'll always find the negative in something, right? <laughs> we are going to bash this new one, too. He's going to get bashed. Once we get offline, that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be like, girl, this motherfucker. This kid. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you about this child yeah, that I'm mind dating right you. now. <laughs> my thing is, <laughs> my thing is, if you knew. <laughs> so what I was trying to say was, <laughs> but he's still <laughs> the hand and the pullback. Know, you see this? This is where the logic still... comes in. This is where the logic comes in. You know what I mean? Like our logic, exactly. it's woman logic. Yeah, and and you know what my phrase is now? It is what it, it is. is what it is. <laughs> Listen. Yes. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Aww. Yeah. So we learned a lot. We learned about women in business. Mm. How to make uh, that a successful business for yourself. Mm. Who to pick when you're working with somebody. How to hire. How to fire. Uh, mm. Dates. Dates. Former marriages. Yes. Marriage. Marriage again. Mm -hmm. The sacred bond of a marriage. <laughs> Why I love Eminem. Yes. Um, what else did we learn today? And how amazing Lynn is. How amazing we all are. Yes. And how aging yes. is real. That's right. And you can either age like this or like this. You pick. What? <laughs> and both of them are awesome in its own way. <laughs> she had to say that. Yes. I hate her. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's true. It, it is. It's true. It is. Because... I mean, I could do all this, but that's so tiring. An hour and a half of my well, life. You used to. Oh, Jesus, you I know used I used to. But to. now you have a child. Now I have a child. We're not doing that no more. Mm. We're not. And plus, my profession is not about hold, my makeup. Hold on. But like, if you find the right person, you might feel inspired to do it. I might feel inspired to hire somebody to do it Or you find the right person me. within yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Snap! And on that note... <laughs> Cynthia, thank you for being You're here. You're welcome. Oh. I love you so much. I'm so thank happy you for listening. Me. I know. We'll see you again. Bye.